You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's going to think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, You'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Farley. The eight-month-old basset hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. You don't believe? That's okay. Sometimes life is just the stream of coincidences. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. So, what's your question, Sam? <laughs> the fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? But enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Good. We're neighbours. Just knock if you need me. I came around the curve and she was just there and I hit her and she's twisted weird and my calm was unravelling. Sir? Good. You got my message. Chief Inspector DuPont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam. 
That's your cover now. So, the job. Director Shaw. 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? To be honest, and I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, I'll help you. You don't get that. There's no badge and gun, just a hope and a promise. Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. In her bedroom, she was naked, strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Ah, uh, born here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? Ivan was woken by the crowing of his cat. This was nothing new. He opened his eyes to find Uni standing on his chest, her mottled face inches from his. I assume you've been to see Chief DuPont already? I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? 
But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. I think I'll get the sign changed. It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. Is there something else, Sam? It's on Bedford Road somewhere. There's nothing for you to see there now, I should imagine. Legs lay helplessly on the floor. No, no, no. Ivan dropped down next. Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. All I'm asking is that you dig a little deeper than the Chief. I had nothing to do with Dorota's death. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. In my room, reading, I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Floor. He'd need it to clean up later. He held the kitten against his chest. You must be a new guest. Or you're burglaring us. <laughs> I'm Rain, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. No, not at all. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. Sam, I don't have a motive for killing Dorota. Full stop. I'd have to be possessed to murder anything. Do you believe in possession, Sam? Just keep an eye out for anyone acting suspiciously. Although today, almost everyone seems to be acting suspiciously. <laughs> we did a reading, a group reading, actually with a special tarot deck. You get it piecemeal, not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered. Young, talented, probably red-headed. Mercury, it's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. Mm. 
my prayer that the girl would be safe. If eight bullets can't stop her, I'll eat the knife. Months ago. Hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Me casa is you casa. <laughs> Come on. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? <laughs> You've done your research. The happy squirrel was vague and mysterious, but not evil. The Five of Swords? I think so anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, ee ee ee. Swords in general are bad. She's like my big sister, so pretty well. You know the Chief's got it all wrong. Ron could never hurt anyone. But I'm sure a smart detective like you can help prove she's innocent. Really? Because she is completely innocent. The cards told us to. Well, the cards in rain. Tara gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. No? Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. I didn't say job. I said job. Okay. We make a um, cheese obelisk. A chob, and depending on the shape of that chob, we get different answers to questions. <laughs> no, you don't. I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. You can ask Bronwyn, we were together. Not together together. That sounded kinkier than I meant it to. Striving for success, but you don't feel worthy of it. Um, and it could be you're suffering from imposter syndrome. Which... It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe? It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival? Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. With her family, um... Who are you? Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. Yeah, I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five. I'm playing football. It's just five aside. 
uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. Not long, a couple of months maybe. We did care for each other. No, no one. She was really popular. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet. And I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Not hidden. Well, she liked it. Liked me to watch. Not, not other guys. Just, she had these, you know, voyeur fantasies. Clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. Perhaps it's metal of some sort. Uh... Any more news on Oscar Wainwright? Yep, that's what you told me too. Not a suspect. Just the tarot readers. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. Uh, Dorota's an only child. She lived with her mum and dad. Monday night was movie night, so they'd go and watch the eight o'clock at the Odeon. Dorota would get the house to herself. They're devastated, naturally. They left town to stay with relatives. They didn't do it, Sam. Well, uh, perhaps I should have made them stay. Leave it. Wow. They normally come in pairs and have many uses. But when used correctly in a pair, it's Feng Shui, guards against evil. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. I actually think this is an erotic scene. Uh, and then the second point you made was that it... Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. Is something wrong? No one can hear us, right? I mean, I'm assuming this room isn't bugged. Although, knowing Violet, there's probably cameras everywhere. You think... you think Violet's a voyeur? Probably. I don't know. She has that look about her, don't you think? Like she knows something she's not letting on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. What have you got to hide? Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. Do you love me? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> anyway, we need to talk about our alibi. What about our alibi? I know you said it would be better if we said we were together, but lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Are you sure it was a good idea? No, lying makes things worse. We should do whatever it takes.
You're acting like we've got something to hide. Bron, is there something you're not telling me? Why'd you ask me to lie? Were you really in your room all night? Yes. No. Where were you? Ron, don't mess me around. You're scaring me. I, I'm just kidding. I was here all... I was at... I'm just... Not funny. I expected to see a dripping cross-section of frontal lobe. Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. Hi, I'm Lex. Free yourself. When I used the knife, it hurt. Dorota had a boyfriend. Oscar, the guy I met this morning? The one I told you about? Yes. What did he want? You haven't told anyone what he told me, have you? No, I haven't. That he was cheating on her. That she was cheating on him. Yeah. He said she was keeping secrets from him. Going out and not saying where she'd been. He didn't like that. Do you think he killed her? Not considering what he asked me to do. I mean, precious black eyes. You kind of look like lizards, with a hat on. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Sculptures? In a tunnel of caves in Mexico. Oh, I picked it up. Why is Sam still questioning me? Do I need to bring up Mr. Hedges again? Are you threatening me? Who is Mr. Hedges? Are you... Th Excuse me? Of course not. We just agreed that with the med Simon, stuff like this might get out. Remember? Right. Or could be an observation of some actually countering some looks like. New August, Dark Nights with Owen Munro. What do you think of Sam? Oh, I'd totally hit that. Apart from the whole investigating Bromwith for murder thing, of course. But that's a minor flaw. I can work around it. I hear Sam likes you too. Don't tell anyone, though. This is strictly between you and me. Sleep, he whispered. It was a hopeful plea. Fe Don't forget the group reading, Ray. By which I mean, if you see Lexi, tell her not to forget the group reading. What's the plan? We still don't know what we're dealing with. There's every chance that it could just be a normal human murder. What if it's not a normal human murder? Then we have to assume that it's some kind of traveller. A traveller from where? From where? From when? We don't even know if it is a traveller yet. Let's just get the group reading done. Maybe then we'll have some answers. Birds, usually downy fledglings with wide beaks and tails that hadn't... ...is bigger than her body, yet she still picked it up to present to him. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Feathers on the ground. It was kinder that way. The kitchen was quiet. The smoke didn't seem to be moving. These were all good signs. White fur. 
No, not a rat. A cat. Small. Oscar Wainwright, what a surprise. His body, stepping over its limp legs without even looking, her eyes fixed on him, waiting for what? He crouched down for a closer look. The kitten's eyes were open, blue, pink nose. Hello. He pushed himself up and went to get a towel. When he returned, the kitten was scrambling at the mat with its front paws. Violet. Sam knows about Mr. Hedges. I'll handle it, Violet. Just get back to the guest house. Unless something else you need? It blurred his vision. He stroked the kitten with the side of his finger. Don't move, okay? Just don't try to move. But the kitten wouldn't stop struggling. So... Even than a magpie. One and done. The kitten's skull. Violet told you about Mr. Hedges? Mr. Hedges was one of August's homeless, actually, probably our only homeless person. We're pretty well off here. No, we called him Mr. Hedges because, well, that's where we found him. I asked Violet to put him up one night. And of all the nights he could have died, he croaked it at the guest house. No, of course not. That's what Violet thinks, but I just drove him off to the morgue and had him processed. Now, don't tell Violet that, though. We need her on our side. Figures. Got any proof? Get proof. Then I can haul them in. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Roman and Lexi lied about their alibis. I'm thinking what to do about it. There's some talk about a traveller. Whatever that is. Oscar's not a suspect. He was playing football last night with lots of witnesses. According to Oscar, Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet which is strange. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. This, he asked. His voice sounded shakier than usual. Didn't I mention it? She started pulling at the fur. She hadn't mentioned it. Ivan would have remembered. Great, so Bronwyn can't keep a secret. Look, it might have crossed my mind that she was seeing someone else, but I was just being paranoid. We just stopped hanging out as much, Monday nights especially. We'd normally have the house to ourselves on Monday. Her parents would go out. She just said she was working on something and that I wasn't supposed to see it until it was finished. Just nine. Eight for Emma, and one for me. I kiss each bullet for luck as I reload them. Rising to my feet, I slide the mag. <laughs> Vicar's son. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? She flaunts herself, her body, had boudoir photographs taken, 
Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother. Not really, just gossip. Apparently she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. Weston's photographic. Zack Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, somebody's going to get upset. Zack's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's photographic? Off the high road? It's late, but he's always there. I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. Enough to send her sprinting directly for me. The second shot clips her side. The third misses. She vaults from the puddle at the base of the ramp, her hospital gown smothered in blood. The fourth hits a square in the chest. I put another there, and another. The seventh slows her approach to a stagger. The eighth forces her to her knee. Yes. He came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. He confided in me quite a bit, actually. He seemed to appreciate having someone to talk to, and he knew I couldn't tell anyone what he said. Oh, Sam, you know I can't do that. Tarot reader, client confidentiality. To protect Lexi. None of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. I, I never usually lie. I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute. Which, now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. You were making a very good point there with the alien look, but it, it's... Hi Sam, back for more already. No, I think Bronwyn met him though. You'd have to ask her, or him, it's not my place to say. I didn't. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was locked in doing phone readings, so she's alright. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was though, cross my heart and hope to die. Traveller? That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Cheeky? Are you flirting with me? Oh dear, <laughs> am I blushing again? There's a murder to solve. Maybe you should do that first, then me. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> What was the object used for, would you think? Only use I can see is maybe to hang a... hang something on? Like a coat? Sam, what can I do for you? We're trying to save people. I said we're trying. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them.
Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... <laughs> well, let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. It's Lexi's thing. I don't personally go near them, but in this case, it did help. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time, it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. Someone else's problem. But I couldn't do it. It's Lexi's. I like to think it works the way most metaphysical things work. Through energy. Tarot cards, runes, Ouija boards. They're just devices for asking questions and receiving answers. But energy is what powers them. When you know something awful is going to happen and you need to get the fuck out of Dodge before you... Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Ah, oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. I know, mind blowing. My voice cracked and I cleared my throat trying to retain Hello, I'm Rain. Are you okay? She lay on her back. Well, mostly on her back. Twisted with her back flat on the road. Face Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Here. I clasped my hand over hers, reassuring her as... You can tell Sam about Birmingham. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? You can tell... What did you can... Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? 
You know Sam likes a fact check. You're right. Don't say anything. You know Sam. I don't really know Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? I told them the truth. That I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. Kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. When should we do another reading? The police think it's me, don't they? When should we... You already told us. Eight o'clock. Ron, are you okay? I looked down at the girl as her chest stopped rising. Her eyes didn't blink. I still clung to her hand. Then she turned into waves that grew into a deeper and richer blue, like satin sheet. In my car, I was, I was driving clenched tightly in my hand. Sir? I hung up. Sweat drenched my pajamas and I was safe at home. I feel sad for Oscar. Bronwyn said to stay away from him and the family. We're drawing too much attention to ourselves. We won't be able to finish our job. Job? Are you wearing a wire? You know why we're here. Don't make me say it. Say it. No. Stop being silly. It was just a nightmare. I was still on the floor. and headed towards the door, ready to show the officers my car and prove that it... But my stomach dropped as I opened the door. There was no way they made it out to my house. I watched them walk up the driveway and see their mouths moving. Do you understand? It's seven o'clock and here's the latest August update. Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. I'm not going anywhere. That's seven o'clock with Poe and Monroe. And now I was literally holding a smoking gun about... Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. Yes. Uh, what do you want? The Shores. Oh. You mean that girl who got killed? What was her name? Uh, Dorothy? I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. Wait. Dorota? Dorota? I remember now. For the August Chronicle. Uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. 
No, I went to her house, along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. Nisha was a reporter. She can confirm all this. No, actually, I've been running a special off on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. As you can see, there's photos here. They're on the cello. Yeah. Now this one's in colour. Beautiful hair. Oh, legs wrapped around. <laughs> Another one here. Oh, hang on. Do you see what I see? I think she's just a very attractive girl. That's all. What do you mean? I don't think I like what you're implying, detective. Is that all? Friends? Yes. I know Violet very well. Sometimes we share a drink. Sometimes a bed, if you know what I mean. Here. I'm usually here most nights. Only the roof rats. Uh, babies? No, silly. I mean like this. If you have anything else on Zach Weston, let me know. And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but who are they for? There's definitely a strong connection between those two then. Well, unless they were for Oscar, I don't know. Unless there's someone else about to come out of the woodwork. That's what he says, but no one can back him up. He's on my radar now. I think you're supposed to tell me that. If he was taking photos of Dorota, maybe he fell for her? And the feeling wasn't mutual. Artists have muses, apparently. Wish I had one. Legs. He pulled his cap down more firmly, blew on his finger. No? Who's that? Okay, so this Zach guy was connected to Dorota. Took pictures of her. Were they sleeping together? You can tell me if she was. I don't care. Look, I mean, if you're going around asking all these questions, if you find out anything like that, I want you to tell me. Thanks, Sam. Don't let me mourn if I shouldn't. Who what? Boudoir photos? She sent some private photos to me by phone. Do you mean them? I get it now. That's why you're asking about Zach Weston. Maybe I should pay him a visit. Down to the churchyard where the winos hung out. There was a good chance one of them would be sleeping it off in some quiet, sacred corner. I found one, opened the gates of madness and experienced the beast's feeding frenzy for the first time. Ugh, oh, do we really have to? How vulgar, yes, I suppose that is what he'd say. But I've never let him lay a finger on me. 
He says we're in a relationship, but he doesn't act like it. He thinks he's irresistible to women. No. <laughs> After the body was found, maybe it's true that the devil looks after his own. Tonight's the night. Sam, look, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Got to pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in till late too. I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? So I have to try and keep as much control as I can. Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl, Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. The traveller wanted three. You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh, no. Um, he did mention the rotor. He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was the road Shaw. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. Some religions talk of demons, but they don't actually exist. Uh, travelers can get inside us and make it look like we're possessed, hence the demons. Yes, disturbingly. Uh, it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat-nav us to normal murders. Cut myself off from any close relationships if I wanted to have any kind of worthwhile lifestyle. A steady girlfriend or a wife. I'm Zach Weston, just sharpening my powers of persuasion. I will not tell them why. There's no predictable pattern to it. Yours can go- Zach! What are you doing here? Oh, quick, don't let anyone see you. Why don't you want- why don't you want anyone to see me? Everyone's talking about Dorota. Are you happy Dorota's dead? Why don't you want any- what? You're the one who said we shouldn't be seen together. What are you doing here? I wanted to make sure we were still okay. No funny business. I'm still not ready. Are you Everyone's talking about Dorota. I know. But I suppose people like that attract trouble. 
People like what? Is that why you killed her? People... Home wreckers. Anyway, I hope you didn't just come here to talk about Dorota. Are you happy Dorota's dead? I didn't say that. But we both know what Dorota was like. She practically threw herself at you. She didn't throw herself at me. Why do you think that? The boudoir sessions. Some girls get the wrong idea. I saw how she was looking at you. She wanted it. You, you were there. You saw the photos. I've seen all your photos, Zack. All of them. I expected nerves making him speak. Perhaps I turn slowly as if I'm a little off balance. Sorry, I don't smoke. Sweating, even though it's after midnight and cool, his eyes are glazed over with large pupils. The spots on He had more choices about his life than me. Fuck you!